so crisp. Oh yes. That is the most lucky, but not lucky, golf shot I've hit in a while with lick. Right. Can it bail me out again? Oh my lord. Have a clap. There we go. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Hi everyone, another nine hole video for you. Seem to like the first one, just me, nine holes, but this time we're gonna play the front nine. And the reason I've made this video is because I have changed a couple of things in my golf bag. Not new things, but I've put old things back in. And I just wanna see how they do. So let me show you what I mean. Back in the bag number one is the even roll. ER2 Black. She's gone back in. Now, it's not that I haven't been getting on with the Toulon, but just thought I'd give this a little spin, see how it goes. And the next thing is, <laughs> believe it or not, the old 620MB butter knife. And Braintree is a little bit of a golf club that if you can hit something low, straight, that's gonna run out, it could do you wonders around here. So, nine holes, let's see how we get on. I'm gonna hit three iron on as many of the holes as I can. Obviously, I'm gonna putt with the even roll on every hole. See what I shoot. Back nine is easier than front nine, bear that in mind. And I'm using the old lavalier mic again today. This is its last chance. If it plays up again today, it is out. So if you know of any good lavalier mics, get in the comments, let us know. Certainly not the Ceremonic Blink V2 Pro, whatever it's called, it has let us down. So without further ado, first hole, par four. See how we get on. You're gonna watch me at my first tee shot as well? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're gonna film it? All right, we've got a spectator. Not hitting three iron off the first tier, it's just going to be a five iron. Just to the left of the tree, hopefully. Deserves a clap, that one. Deserve a clap? There we go. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Uh, scratch. Old member watching me on the first tee. Do you ever like... You always, I don't know, it doesn't matter what level of golf you are, it just feels like you have to hit a good shot when that happens. We're just letting these people through in front of us, but hit a couple of putts on the putting green before I come out with the old even roll, and it was feeling double decent again. So I'm hoping I can hold a few putts through this nine holes. I haven't played the best recently. I had a good back nine at Royal Norwich, if you've seen that, but I snapped my six iron. That's currently, a new shaft is currently on the way for that. But I haven't, I'm still going for a bit of that swing change and it still feels a little bit ropey. So we'll see what we shoot. I don't know. Just thought I'd bring you along with the journey, see how the free iron goes, see how the putter goes. Another nine hole video. Let's go to my ball. Right, after the round of applause, five iron straight down the middle, we are left with 129. Down breeze, 50 degree wedge. Just hit the green and then let the even roll. Roll it evenly, straight into the cup. needs to keep coming back, get a bounce. Should be pretty good. It started left, wind was slightly down off of the left, so I think we've got a putt. Not the end of the world. Annoying. Literally just missed the green. So we're chipping it. What do I chip it with though? Uh, let's go with a little 54. Chipped in last time. Very, very cute, this one. Land it here, maybe. Let it feed out. <laughs> Whatever. Right, well, it gives us a good, a good reason to give the even roll a test on the first hole. Fine short game display there. Said got to get cute with it. It's a bit too cute with it. Nice committed stroke, right? Come on, ER2. Should I never took, took you out the bag? <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have took it out the bag. I don't know. Maybe it should have always just remained in my golf bag, but that is level par through one. Onto the second, par four. 
dead straight really. That's what you need from a putter though, isn't it? Hit a bad chip, leave yourself that awkward little four foot distance, step over it, hole it. You'll probably save yourself one to three strokes around if you've got a putter in the bag that you're confident with and you will hole it. Not to say that I don't like the Toulon, I absolutely love the Toulon, it is a fantastic putter. I just felt like I wanted to go back to the even roll. That's why I didn't sell it, because putters love hate relationship. When you get a new putter, newly wed, confidence is beaming with it, can't wait to use it. And I'm hoping I get that feeling back with the ER2. So level par, through one, onto the second. Now this club going back in the bag, however, is risky. Very, very risky. 620 MB blade, free iron. Have absolutely no idea what's going to happen here. <sighs> right. I've got to, got to miss that bunker on the left. And it's going to... If I catch this, if it's good, it's bloody good. Ah, oh, that was a bad strike. It works. Where did I hit that? Relatively middle, just a little bit low. You can feel it. You can feel it in your hand straight away. So I got rid of them. So I got rid of the blades. I took the ego out of my bag. I found a fairway. It wasn't a nice strike at all. I don't mean to spoil the video for anyone, but even Roll's got a chance to stand in the bag. I don't think that free, I don't think that free iron has. That, that really didn't feel nice at all. It wasn't the worst strike either. It wasn't like well off the toe, well off the heel or really low. It was just a little bit low and not out the dead center and it nearly broke my finger. We'll persevere with it for this nine holes and it is straight in the middle of the fairway, but I could have hit a five iron to where that was, so not looking promising for the three iron. Righty ho, 84 yards. That is, 85 is a three quarter 54 degree, so we'll go for that, take a little bit off of it. All right, now this is where I really do have to stay committed to my tie to my target line, because I've been swinging from the inside and just blocking all my wedges out right of late. So, three quarter swing, take that aim, take slightly a little bit off of three quarter, sorry. Commit to that target. Looking good. Sit. Oh, that's such a good goal shot. Come on, so much better. That is what we want from a wedge shot much more committed in tight nice much 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 better shouldn't miss this one with the even roll this should be routine it's a tapping it is a little tapping lovely wedge shot committed i just feel confident over this putter as well at the minute very very confident over this putter that gets me to one under through two See what happens when you just, you've got a yardage, you trust the yardage, you commit to the shot. Good things happen. Commitment in golf is one of the biggest things, I would say. Confidence and commitment. Just commit to it. Deal with where it goes. One under, through two, onto the third. Come on. Right, third hole, one of the harder holes on the golf course. Made much harder because it's into wind. But this is if where I can hit, if I can hit this free iron really well. This is perfect, keep a little low one, missing the bunker on the right, scooting down to the left. We're two one putts in a row, albeit from a total of about five feet. So the even roll's doing what I wanted it to do. It's time for the free iron to do what I wanted it to do. We got away with it on the last. Don't think we'll get away with it two in a row, so this has to be a better strike. Oh, that was so crisp. Oh yes. That's what I was looking for. That is what I was looking for from that golf club. That is A1. Come on, 620, come on. If you've never owned blades, then you might not quite understand this, but I don't recommend them unless you're like an elite ball striker, which I'm definitely not, hence why I got rid of mine. But there is no better feeling than middling a blade. So when you hit them shots and you just don't feel it come off the club face, right? We've all had them shots with cavity bags, whatever irons you've got, we've all had them shots where you hit it and you do not feel it come off the club face. Well, multiply that by, by 10 and then add like an orgasm to the end of it. And that is what it's like ripping a blade, especially a lower iron blade. That shot was perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. It might have a chance. I might have spoke a bit too soon. It might have a chance to stand in the bag. A1, right, as I just said, perfect on the old free iron there. 
to be up in line with that bunker into wind on this hole and have 162 left into the flag is double decent. So 162 into fan. I think I'm gonna hit a seven iron and I've actually zoomed in the camcorder onto the green. So hopefully if I hit the green, you'll see this down. How clever am I, right? I know, don't remind me. Oh, hold a piece, catch a piece, catch a piece. Bang average. I don't even know if that was on the camcorder's line of sight there. It's like front left, terrible golf shot. Not good at all. Coming in, baby. And I'll be like, baby, baby, baby. ER2 time. I tell you what, if I can this one, it might be goodbye to the Toulon. Sold to the highest bidder in the comments. Make sure there's quite a few bids. All right, for birdie, outside look. Definitely an outside look. Probably about 35 feet up the hill. Big swing left to right. <sighs> Tell you what, that was not far off. That was on a bloody good line. Show it the respect it deserves. Probably got three feet, two and a half feet, maybe three. Down the hill, inside right. No free putts from the old even roll. Just feels solid at the minute. It feels really, really solid. Off the few putts I've hit with it, I'm really liking the feel again. I know it's probably just honeymoon period. Just come back out the closet. It's getting a bit of light today, so we're showing off, but I am really, really enjoying using it at the moment. Still one under, through, free, onto the next par three. Difficult one, this. Right, fourth hole. I don't need to zap this one. It reads 198, I believe, on the card. But I snapped my six iron, as you know. And this is a nine iron, I've got my hand. I need a seven. I was looking down on that thinking, that is a lot of loft for a nine iron. Right, get back to them fills, get it on the green, even roll, looks after the rest of it. Come on. Terrible swing. Middle left of the green, short left. Such a bad swing. Nothing like what I'm trying to do there. Shocking. It's a really hard swing changes, isn't it? Because for frequent viewers of the channel, you'll know that I was hitting my iron so well, I just had this slight little pull. Like my four iron off the tee was lethal. Swing was like aesthetically looking good. I just had this miss of left, like shut face not that shallow on the way back down and this miss of left. So it has to be changed. If I want to improve, it has to be changed. That wasn't the swing there that I was looking for, but I'm not in the worst position. Front left portion of the green might be chipping up and down for pass, not the end of the world. Do you know what? I would usually chip this. I've just missed the green, but as we're testing the even roll again, I'm going to putt it. Not a ton of movement in this either, to be honest. Just a bit of distance control. I will put the stats up at the end of this. I know I said that in the last one, but I am going to on this one just to see how many putts I, I had throughout the round. How good is that, by the way? Stop. Oh, <laughs> not that good. It looked like it was gonna be really good and then just kept going. It's kind of what we want in this video. Little testers. Put us under the gun, you know, bit of pressure. This is a perfect, five, six feet putt, the ones where you want to keep your card going. This is it, exactly what I was looking for, to be honest. Not obviously off the shot, I was looking for it to go in the hole or be a bit closer, but this type of putt is what I was looking for. Up the hill, right lip, good stroke. 34 inch as well, this one, the other one's 35. I kind of like it. It just feels so good. I don't know why. I don't know why it does, it just does. It just feels like I'm hitting it right out the middle of the face, which you want in a putter, of course. And more importantly, I just feel supremely confident with it. Still one under, onto the next fifth, stroke index one. It's like I said, making them. Say you make five, five more of them throughout a round of golf, four more of them, three more of them. It all adds up in this bizarre game that we play to a lower score. And that's what we're all chasing, just a lower score. This light's proper dodgy, but we'll go with it anyway. Happy at the minute, happy, happy boy. I'm a happy, happy dog. Enough of that. 
Right, so as I said, fifth hole, stroke index one. And it's another good hole for free iron, playing into wind. It's not a free iron if it's downwind or a crosswind, but this is coming pretty much straight back into our face. You know the drill here, can't miss it right. Got to miss it down the left if you do. Try and play this one a little bit lower. A bit more of a controlled sort of flighted free iron. It's perfect. It's a go a little bit, it was a tiny bit toey, but it didn't feel that bad. We we'll see how short that is. It was toey, but it didn't feel, it felt toey, but it didn't feel super toey. Straight down the middle, tiny little baby draw. We'll see, if it's make it, made it past the tree, this is why I kind of want it back in my bag, because it will just run. It done it on the second, I hit it bad, but it just goes and goes and goes. I don't know, let's have a look. I suppose a little thank you is in order as well, because the old Instagram has been flying. Jesus, it's windy. The old Instagram's been flying lately. We're up to probably about, by the time this video comes out, 13 and a half, 14 thousand followers would be my guess. But if you're watching this video, you follow us on Instagram or you just come across our videos, we look at the analytics and nearly 60% of you who watch these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. So just do us a favor, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Ring the bell, you'll get notified every time we upload a video. If you're someone who constantly watches our videos, just subscribe to the channel. Come on now. Makes sense, it makes sense. Right, well, we didn't any further than what a well-struck five iron would. Um, we're well short of the corner. My line of sight is kind of blocked, which means I'm gonna try and cut a nine iron, which means it's probably not gonna end well. Only, only benefit here is this into wind. So as I play this shot across, it's off the left, which will move the golf ball. It's all I got going for me at the minute. Not cutting. Bunker, missed the bunker, well left of the green. Now we're struggling to get up and down. Now we need to chip this to six, seven foot and hope that the even roll continues to roll evenly. How is that a lost ball? Bunkers there, over the bunker. Come on now. It's lost. We'll play local rules, take a drop, play four from there. Nice one. How was that ever lost? Right, I've taken a drop here, playing my fourth. It's a back flag, so a lot of green to work with. It's a back flag from where I am here. 60 degree wedge, just chuck it up, let it feed out. That needs to sit. Oh no, ladies and gents. <sighs> Card wrecker. Listen, you've got to take the rough with the smooth in this game. Shouldn't have been a lost ball, but it is a lost ball. Could have chipped it closer. Didn't, that was on me. And now we've got this to save bogey. Otherwise you go from under par to over par in one hole which you never want. I'm actually really angry about that. You can probably tell. Right. Can it bail me out again? It only bloody has. It only bloody has. Are you kidding me? Oh, lordy, lordy. I think we're on to something, lads. I think we might be on to something with this putter. Glad I didn't sell it. Level par, good bogey in the end. Right, well this is the most free iron friendly hole on the golf course, the sixth. 352 yards, dead straight. This is where you need that little runner. This is why I want a free iron in my bag for holes like this, so. Great strike, tugged it a little bit left. Keep running. In the trees on the left. Good strike. Lacked a little bit of direction. Middle though. Which it needs to be with this. Needs to be out of the middle. Not left ourselves in the most ideal of spots. Blocked out by two trees. But we can, can sling a little seven iron chippy draw around there I reckon. And get it onto the dance floor. Oh my God, I literally just missed that tree. If that keeps going, 
that keeps running, that keeps running. That is the most lucky, but not lucky, golf shot I've hit in a while. It literally skimmed the side of the branch. You would have seen it on that camera there. Skimmed it enough that it didn't push it offline. And now we've got a putt. A good, good look at it as well, probably about eight feet. Lucky. Right, that was super, super fortunate. I'm not gonna lie. If I hit it a little bit harder as well, the, the little knock on the tree would have probably bumped it online even more. So we've got this for birdie. Cash money, even roll. Tiny bit of right to left, not massive amounts. I feel like I'm gonna make it. How mad is that? It's not eight foot, but more like 12, 13. But I feel like I'm gonna make it. Oh my Lord. <laughs> my God. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Genuinely. I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say, honestly. I just feel like I'm gonna hold absolutely everything. And you know what we're like on this channel? This is no retakes, this is no rubbish. I've one putted every single hole. I've one putted every single hole. First one putt, second one putt, third two putt, sorry, fourth was a one putt, because I putted on. Fifth, one putt. Sixth, one putt. What is going on? Can't miss with the thing, I cannot miss with the thing. Seventh hole next, par three, 176 yards. Come on, buzzing. I'm in a little bit of shock. I don't, I don't really know what to say. Just Maybe just don't say anything. Just let the train keep rolling. Right, seventh hole, 176 yards. This one's obviously playing back into breeze. Last one was downwind. I'm gonna hit a seven iron here. Controlled seven iron. It's a nice shot. Keep coming. Just short maybe, just short with the flag. Uphill putt though, and that's, if that's anywhere inside 10 feet, I'm holding it. You know it and I know it, I'm holding it. Come on. I think we can all probably hazard a good guess of what's about to happen here, can't we? Straight up the hill, right to left. This gets us back under par. Maybe not that much outside right, but just a good roll. Come on, baby girl. Come on. Come on. Exactly what we want. Come on. Save so many strokes. That is unbelievable, the difference in that. Is it just confidence? Get down in the comments let me know. Is it just confidence that's making me hold all of these? But I feel like I'm hitting it much more at the centre of the putter. Maybe the 34 inches is doing something up there, you know. I don't know. I do not know, but I like it a lot. Back to one under, onto the eighth. Dog leg right, par four. Genuinely in shock with the whole thing, to be honest. Right, this probably isn't free iron, but we'll keep the theme of the video. Eighth hole. It's only a little patty one down the left to give you a good look into the green. Little soft one. Slapped the living life out of it. <laughs> so bad that it's actually all right. This ain't going in the bag. I can tell you much that much. This is not going in the bag, this one. Not going in the bag. Absolutely, definitely not going in the bag. It's worked out okay. It was nowhere near the center of the face. I have got a shot into the green, thankfully, but it's not going in the bag. Definitely, definitely not. Righty ho, righty ho, righty ho. 146. That means slightly downwind off the right, pitching wedge. But take a bit off of it because it's downwind. So 146, pitching wedge, smooth swing. Lovely golf shot. Be good. Be good. Be good. Great golf shot. Like that one. A lot of time for that swing. Much, much better, Ash, much better. Right, for another birdie. This one is left to right though, so not the favoured, favoured bit of break, but let's see if we can can another one. Ooh. <laughs> Nearly another. That's the first two putt, that. First two putt.
Let's not talk about that one. Yeah. Uh, back to level par. One hole left, ninth. Right, sod the free iron. That free stab's pissed me off. I'm going driver. No free iron on this hole. Just rip it across the corner. Do what needs to be done. Lost it. I see it. Probably be left rough, that one. Hopefully be able to find it. Left rough, it's all been cut down there, so should be all right. Absolutely nowhere to be seen. It's happened again. Nowhere to be seen. Thought I'd find it in this rough. Obviously not. <sighs> what a blow up. What a blow up. I'll drop one. Play four. Class. Right, taking a drop from here. 54 degree left in, up and down for a five. What a blow up. Spin, spin, go. It's an uphill putt. What a blow up. Right, for bogey. I'm not even lining this one up, I can't be asked. Ruined the round. Another good putt with the even roll though. Listen, you're not gonna win them all. Positives to take from today, even roll stand in the bag. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. You're gonna see this a lot more often. See you in the next one.